Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Sailor and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Sailor's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The little corrections and lots of motivation that we give Sailor when we're working with him and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any little correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. He's going to come home with his very own training equipment and I'm going to teach you how to use that properly during your follow-up training session tomorrow. Now he's sitting very nicely at Rich's left which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. The command is sailor heal, and at this point sailor has the job to do, and that is to maintain pace with you when you're walking, not forging ahead or lagging behind, and each time that you stop your feet, he's been taught to sit and wait for his next command. So when you're walking down the street, he should be walking next to you nicely. He shouldn't be dragging you or pulling you or lagging behind. That's nice eye contact. He looked up at Rich. You want to keep his head up off the ground. And when you stop to cross traffic or talk to a neighbor, he should be sitting waiting for his next command. And the next command that Rich gave him is stay. Stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one-word command. Your homework is going to be to practice having him lengthen out that sit-stay for longer and longer periods, up to three minutes. Rich returned right back to heel position. He gave him a little treat for a good job, and they'll take off healing again. And if you notice, there's no aggression, he's not, he's not mad, you can see his tail is up and wagging, no nipping or biting, nice automatic sit, another stay. And this time, instead of returning back to him after Rich has him hold it for a second, we don't want the video to be long and boring, He's going to use his name, he's going to use a happy voice, and he's going to call him, and this is your come on command. He comes in and sits, facing your knees. And Rich tells him, good boy, for a good job. So as you can see, your boy's come a long way. If you speed up, he should speed up. If you slow down, he should do the same. Rich leaves him in another sit-stay, and he will demonstrate that recall again. Comes right in and sits. Very nicely done, Sailor. Good job. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with him seated at your left, left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. And it took him a while to get this command as I told you on the phone, but he got it. When Rich returns back to him, he walks all the way around him this time as an additional distraction, and he stops at heel position. So everything starts and stops with the dog either sitting or lying down next to your left leg. Left open palm, down straight toward the ground, and the one word command to down, and then stay if you're going to walk away from him. And you can also call him out of this command. Very good boy. And we're going to see how his down from a distance was because the down from heel was hard enough when you're right next to the dog. 
But we'll see how he does. And if he doesn't do well, he will get it. We'll help you and coach you along. Richard's going to leave him in a sit stay. He's not going to go too far away. He uses his right hand to give the command. It's the only time that you use your right hand to give the command. And he went right down, and I'm really pleasantly surprised. Now, we have demonstrated for you all of Sailor's formal on-leash obedience commands. He has done a great job. I want you to keep practicing in obedience because it keeps you top dog. And that's the most important thing with this little guy. He's done a great job. It took him a little while to get adjusted, but he has done a great job. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day. And thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.